white paper for us. We can distribute it internally. So that would be very helpful. We could have a, an ongoing discussion about this. But that's how the, uh, the initial report got published in 1987. And uh, it was supposed to be a white paper, but lenders published it. Yeah, because there was a shake-up in the SRI uh, at that time, and uh, uh, one of the, uh, in fact, the department which uh, Lambert was part of was closing down. And so there was all sorts of problems that we eventually had. So eventually Flinders uh, uh, published it, but it also had the SRI logo on the front. And uh, so there was a very interesting effort that we had there. Have you been able to maintain a continuing relationship with uh, scientists at Flinders or, or, or at any other institution? Okay, with uh, Flinders University, the uh, first advisor the agency with there was Trevor Norman. He eventually had to leave. Uh, uh, there was a, a problem that uh, uh, came up between him and uh, the dean in the, uh, the faculty there, um, and uh, eventually had to leave, but uh, that was rather unfortunate. So I lost contact with Flinders University, and because uh, Lambert Dolphin's uh, uh, term had basically expired at the SRI, I've lost contact with SRI as well, so basically I have no university contact. I've uh, been working essentially on my own. Uh, ever since that time. I have to boast on him a minute. He was offered an honorary doctorate last year and he refused it. And he just said, well, either my work stands on its own or it doesn't. Yeah. yeah, the problem of the honorary doctorate was being offered by a university that didn't have the science to make. <laughs> <laughs> and that, that would make the doctorate uh, totally, uh, totally invalid. So it wasn't worth the, wasn't worth the effort. Thank you. Is that it for you? Okay. okay. Any more questions for him, Barry and the team? Okay. Um, I guess the last thing I'd like to ask is, um, Barry, what you uh, have made this series and have uh, done a monograph. What what is the future work? What 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 do you see ahead for you right now? Wait, I'm going to answer this. <laughs> I don't mean to embarrass Barry, but this is it. And that's because Barry has an inherited disorder called porphyria, and it's getting the best of him now. So this will be the last thing that he's done. He and Calvin just finished the series on his geology and astronomy, and I think that's in process of getting finished now. Absolutely. And um, that's kind of the bucket list finished, and then I get to I appreciate every day I've still got with Barry. I don't know how many are left, but um, so I think this is kind of special that he was able to be here with you this way. He couldn't, he's not strong enough to fly the board anymore. Sure. So this, this is it. Um, we answer emails, and um, when people want to do a Skype conference or a conference like this, we're available. But my dear beloved husband is um, getting weaker every day and sleeping a lot. and. He goes out in the sun now and his skin bleeds. So, um, for those of you who, who are prayers, we covet your prayers. Thank you. Well, no, we thank you very much. And that was one of the reasons we at Cyclix wanted to, you know, recognize Barry because we know that, uh, you know, his work has, is coming to uh, an end in the sense of his, his journey in the scientific arena. And uh, we feel very honored because oftentimes, even with uh, the CNPS, we've had uh, great scientists we've wanted to uh, recognize or have recognized at least amongst ourselves, but not officially. And uh, Greg Volk and myself have taken upon us to try to do those tasks. It's often quite sad where we'll see someone leave us before they've been recognized. And I think. At least where we can, that's one of the reasons we have Cyflix and not just the uh, scientific award because this is also an area I think that's very important, becomes more and more important because in the future we look at it today and people here see it and people around the world are seeing it 
you know, data is data, good work is good work, and that's, that's um, something that will never change. It doesn't have a time frame. Yes, we may have better understandings, but this is a historical uh, 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 addition to our knowledge in science. Barry, you have given us a really great, uh, not only data and looking at anomalies, but also insights into that. Because it's, it's one thing to say there's something that's anomalous, and it's another to actually be able to make statements and find something real. I think it's pretty interesting, my father, who's uh, approaching 80, uh, said something to me in his engineering attitude. I think, Barry, I think you probably agree with it. He said, you know, Dave, the universe doesn't have any anomalies. And I thought that was just a wonderful statement and I thought of you. And you, you so elegantly said that in no, numbers of ways. You're, you're, you said very, very clearly uh, in, in the two sections we saw today that you said, well, when you see something that doesn't fit your theory, you have a choice to make. And if you, you guys saw my film, Einstein Wrong, and I have that quote from Einstein, not only in the film, but in the, the music, I have a great composer who wrote a great theme song. And he said, um, Einstein said, if the facts don't fit the theory, change the facts. And uh, I, think, I think what you have given the world is uh, going to be way beyond your lifetime, our lifetime. So. Uh, and what every day any of us have is, is, a, is a great gift and we, we really appreciate your time and we, we hope in our humble way, even though the CMPS is really the MPA and reincarnate and we don't have as many people here, my mom and dad called people from all around the 200 members and they were very supportive of what was going on and especially, um, I will tell you personally that Nick, Nick uh, um, Nicholas Percival was the one I tasked with really going after and looking at your body of work and he was just, he's a tough cookie. He doesn't like a lot of stuff. He's a pretty critical guy, but he said this was well, well worth it. And, and I asked him today, I said, what, what should we show? We can't show a whole DVD. You know what his answer was? I don't want to give it. That's too hard. <laughs> so... Uh, uh, I want to thank you so much, I and mean, you are in our prayers and, and thoughts, and uh, continue it, and remember all of us, we, we never know how long we have here, but we fight the good fight of talking, and, and the people here are greatly appreciative, and I'm sure uh, it will only continue, and hopefully this, uh, if you, uh, I would recommend that whoever does your website put those little uh, 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 leafs of, of being a winner from this uh, Film festival, those help put them up there. Use that. Um, we have uh, uh, the stuff from our film film festival. You can now say that your work has now been officially recognized, and that's the purpose of Cyflix. So thank you so much, Barry. Well, if we're going to leave you with anything, it's please anybody don't be afraid of the data. Yeah. Just don't be afraid of it. Absolutely. Yeah. If I add something to that, after working months and months on various stuff and getting to know it quite well. And having that a few years past since then, the new discoveries in the universe and the new tools to really evaluate what's out there has proven to me that Barry is on the right track and that what he has done will be something that will last forever. We will use it for a long time. Yeah, thank, thank you very much. much. Yeah. We really deeply appreciate the, all your comments. Thank you so much. Well, thank you. Okay, Barry, um, we're going to wrap it up then. Let me uh, stop. I recorded the last part of this uh, uh, for you, so I have a little bit.